This Chinese beef stew will definitely warm your stomach and help save you money. Super tender beef along with some yummy vegetables cooked in a flavorful broth. Now this is comfort food. Hey everyone, I'm Flo. Dude is behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. As you know, food prices continue to go up, but cooking at home is still cheaper than eating out. But who wants to cook every day? Even I don't want to cook every day. So this recipe will make more than you need for one meal to serve a family of four. It'll give you multiple meals. You can freeze it, you can serve it over a couple of days so you're not cooking all the time. I have three pounds of beef finger meat. I've talked about finger meat before. It is now one of my favorite meats to buy because it's fairly inexpensive. I love using it in um, stews, anything like that where I have to cook it for a longer period of time and it's super tender. And I think it's because it's so fatty and marbled that it just is, oh, just melts in your mouth. If you can't find beef finger meat, you can always use stew meat, which I really don't like using because stew meat essentially is whatever the butcher has cut off other pieces of meat and thrown in a package and they sell it to you as stewing beef, but you don't know what you're gonna get. So sometimes you get these really lean pieces that don't really do that well in a stew. I, I personally don't like biting into those dry pieces of meat. Uh, you can also use a, a pot roast that you can cut up yourself or uh, short ribs, boneless short ribs are also really good, but short ribs these days are quite pricey. So there are some options out there for you if you can't find finger meat. Now I have already parboiled this meat. I've cut them up into about two inch pieces and I parboiled them for about five minutes. And that essentially just means we're taking out some of that impurity. Um, it makes for a cleaner broth when you're stewing, but if you don't want to, you can totally skip that part. I'm using the pressure cooker today because I believe in using the best tool for the job and pressure cooking gets this done really fast in comparison to braising on the stove. Braising on the stove will take an hour and a half to two hours and you gotta be home and you have to watch it. Using the pressure cooker, it'll be done in about 30, 35 minutes. Also using an ounce of ginger. So these are two thumb size pieces of ginger. And if you wash them really well, you don't have to peel them. You can slice them up if you like, but this is my favorite way of getting ginger into stews these days. Because I just want the flavor of the ginger. I don't necessarily want to spend all my time picking up slices of ginger. Okay, I have two of these jumbo carrots. I'm gonna keep the chunks really big because we're cooking it in the pressure cooker. We want the carrots to still hold its shape. We don't want it to disappear in the stew. And if you don't have these jumbo carrots, you can just use regular carrots. So maybe three or four regular carrots. I have four to five potatoes. Well, I have five potatoes, but I only had five potatoes left and I didn't want to leave one behind. So you can use four to five potatoes. And again, I'm just going to keep these in big chunks so that they don't melt and disappear in your stew. I'm using one cinnamon stick a star anise, and two bay leaves. I'm using a little uh, disposable tea bag. That way I don't have to go fishing for these spices in my stew later on. So I'm gonna try to put that down closer to the meat. I should have done this earlier. It's okay, you like a challenge. 
I'm also using a tablespoon of rock sugar. If you don't have rock sugar, you can use regular sugar, but ancient Chinese secret, they say that rock sugar tenderizes the meat a little bit more when you're making stew. So I'm also gonna stick that near the bottom. You're giving away all the ancient Chinese secrets. <laughs> I don't even know where I learned that from. Now onto the sauce. Quarter cup of Shaoxing wine. Shaoxing wine is just a rice wine. I don't even know if I have a quarter cup in here. Oh, now what? If you don't have Shaoxing wine, you can substitute with bourbon, which I'm not gonna do. I don't think I have some other rice wine that I'm gonna add instead. You know what? <laughs> Evan Williams is feeling kind of left out. I should just use it? Yeah. No, the alcohol won't burn off as well, I find, in the Instant Pot. So, I'm gonna go get my other rice wine. All right, I'm using regular rice wine. So if you don't have Shaoxing wine, you can use regular rice wine. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. And two tablespoons of a dark soy sauce. And if you don't have dark soy, you can just use regular soy sauce. Dark soy sauce just gives it that extra color. And I'm using two tablespoons of this Chihou sauce. And it's Chihou sauce is a like a soya bean paste. It just has a very distinct flavor, so I wouldn't omit this. And if you can get it, um, do. It does add like just a, a delicious flavor to stews. Okay, I'm gonna pour this evenly over all the ingredients. I have several recipes using this chihau paste, so if you buy a jar, there's several recipes that you can try. And one cup of water. That's it? Can you believe it? Like, that is all you need to do. That's why I didn't mind parboiling the beef ahead of time, because what else am I doing? Right putting the lid on, locking it into place, making sure this ceiling knob is on ceiling, and we're gonna cook it for 30 minutes on high pressure. That is it, see you in a bit. So I have already quick released the pressure, and this is what we have. Oh my goodness, it looks so good, but I see there is a thick layer of fat on top that I'm going to skim. So the thing about finger meat is that it is a little bit on the fatty side, and I don't wanna eat all the fat, but I do love the flavor of it, but I will scoop out some of it. Yeah, that's, that's quite a bit to leave in there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm gonna turn the saute mode on because I wanna thicken the sauce. It's quite thin right now. This is more like a soup, like a broth. We want to make it more thick. While I see it, I'm gonna fish out the tea bag of herbs. And if I can find the ginger, I'll take that out as well. Okay, I'm gonna take out some of the vegetables so that it's easier to thicken the sauce. I have about two tablespoons of cornstarch and adding about two tablespoons of water. Make sure that the water is cold water or room temperature water. Otherwise, the cornstarch will not dissolve. I don't know if I'll need all of it, but I'm gonna start with, I'm just gonna start pouring it in and see. I'm gonna use all of it. All right, and that is it. Let's turn it off. Just adding my beef and more potato and sauce into a serving bowl. That thickened sauce really makes a difference in coating the, the food. Yeah, that and over rice is gonna be awesome. I'm just gonna garnish with some green onions that I sliced up. Does that look amazing or what? Mm -hmm. All right, are you all ready for? Oh yeah. Mmm, the taste. Guys, you think this is a lot? See how big this bowl is? It's almost all the way to the top. 
Hey, you had your dinner already, Kaya, so you need to pipe down. Look how much more is left in the pressure cooker. You get good food and you get volume of food. Value and flavor, boom. So let's bring out the carrot, potato, and some finger meat. You know, the first time he said, hey, I brought home some finger meat, I was like, finger meat? But it's actually pretty good. Yeah. Oh, dude. Super good flavors, tender meat. Got the marbling in there. It's a bit gray out there, a bit cloudy. So this is like perfect food. Still not quite warm here in Vancouver yet. Oh, veg just falls apart. Now a little bit hot, a little bit hot. <laughs> oh, potatoes gonna be hot. Mmm, melt in your mouth. More saucy rice. Yeah, good. Thanks, dude. Mm. So the total cost for this recipe was approximately $25. So we're talking about two meals at $12.50 each to feed a family of four. Can't go wrong with that. For more recipes using that chihau paste, check it out and I will see you over there.